All right, let's check this horn out. This is a 64,000 Mark VI, a very early one. It should be 1956. Um, it's a European one. It's beautifully made and engraved, um, original dark lacquer. It's a gorgeous piece of art. Um, I have had this horn since 1997 or 8 um, because it's so good. Um, this was my main horn. Um, I never let it go. Um, I'm just onto something else these days um, that works with a particular type of mouthpiece that I like. Um, maybe better than this one does. This will work with a lot of things, but it just loves, you know, auto link type of mouthpieces and things like that. It's, you know, it's an, it's an, an early sound. It's like one of the best. This is, um, so I, I was friends with Ernie Sola and, uh, he worked on a bunch of my horns back in the day. And, um, um, you know, he loved Selmer's as well, mainly worked on Selmer's and I brought this horn over to him and he played it and just, you know, lost it. He said this was the best Mark VI he had ever played and told me I could never sell it. <laughs> and, and I never have, but I can't have it sitting here not getting played. So this is a real special one. Um, it's a personal horn of mine, and it's it really is one of the best Mark Sixes ever. Um, so, but I just can't have it just sleeping here. Someone's got to play this, and and whoever gets it is going to be getting a truly incredible horn. But uh, so we're gonna hear it first. I'm gonna play with one of my uh, rubber Bergs here, and then I'm gonna show you with with an auto link, and uh, we'll get a sense of how it sounds. So this is a Berg, okay? If this horn doesn't shock a player, I don't know what will. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a wow type of feeling when you play it. There aren't many horns around that offer this kind of response. Um, even some of the other sixty-something thousand uh, tenors don't. Um, probably many of them don't. Um, the only other horns that feel like this that I have played are usually um, super balanced actions, a little bit similar, although this is generally more spread than super balanced action would be. Um, they're either super balanced action or uh, 56, 55 or 56,000 Mark VI, maybe 50, 50 even 58,000. But th th this particular, sorry, this needs a little bit of a paper here because it's kind of a, it's a, a thinner cork uh, for the Berg. Um, the 50,000 Mark Sixes and the uh, early 60s, you never really know what you're going to get when you play them because it's still kind of the tail end of the transitional period. And, and you know, generally people would look at this and say it has an SBA bell, which I think is actually um, absolutely correct. Um, it has an SBA bell. I don't know what the rest of the body is, whether, you know, I mean, it plays like a Mark VI. The response is it's definitely Mark VI. But it's like prototype Mark VI, so it's, it has a lot of SBA qualities. Um, but as you get in the, into the 60,000s, like some of them play more, you know, less like an SBA and others play more. This is like right on the line somehow. <laughs>
likes this mouthpiece as much as the other one. It's probably uh, conformed to the curve of the other piece and you can kind of hear me flubbing it a little bit because the reed is not so comfortable. Anyway, there it is. 64,000 Masterpiece Mark VI.